Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Video Game Book Club. Oh crap, there's already a channel called that. Oh wait, they haven't uploaded for four years. <laughs> Thank God, it's not stealing, it's grave robbing. Anyways, in today's episode, we are covering 2007's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. None of the people in this episode have played this game before. In fact, I'm even recording this monologue before I've played it. And we're all very excited to sit down and talk about it. If you have a better suggestion for the name of this show, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. We're, uh... Still working on that. Anyways, enjoy. Alright, welcome to the first episode of Video Game Book Club. Finally, we, we've been planning this for like two months. Uh, my name is Adam, you probably know me, random user, blah blah blah. Don't wave at the camera. I didn't tell you to wave at the camera. Don't do that either. You're gonna get this age restriction. Right. It's the first 30 seconds. <laughs> Given. <laughs> All right, Wes, introduce yourself. Okay. My name is Wes, and I'm here to say that this past month I called you to play. Phenomenal. Hunter, introduce yourself. <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> leave that no, can you leave that I can Hunter not introduce himself? So this is Hunter, and my fun fact is I took the longest to beat the game. Really fun. Hunter, like, just finished it. He's got it all fresh in his mind. I finished it, like, two weeks ago and forgot most of it already. So I hope I put good notes. <laughs> also, just quickly before we uh, move on, uh, if I was to color code text for who's talking, what colors do you guys want to be? I just assumed for the Fortnite video. <laughs> I think I'm visually blue right now. <laughs> okay. Hunter, how about you? Transparent. Bruh. I might be able to make Just it brown. green and then chroma key. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. Why? <laughs> he said transparent. <laughs> All right, let's 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 just immediately open up with our immediate first impressions of the game. Not uh, like our overall thoughts, just first impressions. Yeah, how yeah, we felt yeah. sitting down and starting it. Um, I can start. Please. B being crouch caught me so off guard. <laughs> I thought it was going to be right stick. I don't know why I thought it was going to be right stick, but it, it felt wrong not being right stick. <laughs> uh, I watched Hunter play the tutorial, and he pressed right stick like 13 times before he crouched correctly. Uh, and then also the, the machine guns, specifically in the first two missions, felt like they had way too much recoil. Like they felt very weird yeah. to use. Like unusable. Mm hmm I used the pistol for the entire first mission. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you guys? Hunter, we're sitting down recording an episode of a video game book club about Call of Duty Modern Warfare. What isn't wrong with us? Yeah, no, it's it's in the year 2024. Okay, okay. The, the, the thing is with the machine guns, they all work fine except for, like, the AK-47 and stuff that doesn't have a scope. I mean, you get used to them. You get used to them, but they just get caught off guard at first. At least I did. My first impression is that the game looks, like, really good. Yeah, that like, caught me so off guard. <laughs> I was expecting so, Call of Duty on the Wii. <laughs> oh, we should clarify. So you, you played the Xbox 360 version um, from, mm -hmm. I don't 2007? Is that yes. right? Yeah. We played the remaster, which I think is, like, 2018. That sounds right. That one uh, I have to Google. The game looks really good. Like, it looks good for PS4, Xbox One, like, genuine. Uh, so at what point are my thoughts first? Um, like, literally when you turn on the game and you play for five seconds, what were your immediate thoughts? My first thoughts was, I don't want to be doing a p tutorial, I want to be playing the game. <laughs> it can't be that hard to figure it out. Are you telling me you weren't a fan of Knife the Watermelon? My ass wrote Knife the Watermelon my notes 16 times. I wrote it once, but I wrote Knife the Watermelon hyphen funny. So, yeah. That's how you know it's a good line. I missed. <laughs> Wait, I also missed. Wait, I will also say, I tried to shoot the watermelon before it told me to knife it, and I was really disappointed that it didn't explode. <laughs> but then it, it caught me off guard when it did, so it's kind of hyphen actually. What, um, what difficulties did you guys select? I picked regular. I played, like, the first three missions on, not veteran, but, like, the hard mode. And it was hard, so I went back down to normal. I played on normal, because I was not about to lose my mind playing Call yeah. of Duty. Alright, cool. So we pretty much all played it on normal. I died a fair amount of times. 
Me too. Yeah. I, I didn't want to spend 20 years there. Also, I was recording footage, so I didn't want to be on veteran for <laughs> yeah. three years. <laughs> What time did you guys get in the training course? Do you guys know? Oh, fuck. I didn't write it, but it told me to pick the easiest difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> I also uh, got the easiest one, but I kept replaying it, and I got about 22. Um, Hunter, you got 51.95, so not great. I got 42.5. I got 42.5. <laughs> that was a lot better than Hunter did. I liked yeah, the yeah. setting of the tutorial, like the military base area. Um... I remember it playing it a lot as a child and not knowing how to get past it because I was a dumb <laughs> child. <laughs> uh, I thought it was really cool that it was contextualized. Yeah. I feel like Just, as far as military training goes, it's a pretty short tutorial, but as far as games yeah. go, it's a pretty long tutorial. <laughs> yeah. I feel like there so. should have been a boot camp segment. But I also did Honestly, like a tutorial. Yeah, that could have gone hard. <laughs> if they just did like five time trial segments that you had to do well, kill enemies quickly, like I would have been so down for that. Obviously, with the option yeah. to skip it. <laughs> have you played Titanfall Two? Uh, no, but I know it's amazing. <laughs> okay, that, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> do Do we want to move on to the first mission? Sure. I'd like to talk a little bit about story before we do. Okay. Uh, the first thing to tell you is you're playing as a dude named Sin. Mm -hmm. And cool ass name. That's like sport. It is an awesome name. When you're playing it, so he's usually in like Azerbaijan tracking down this Assad guy. Mm -hmm. Khaled Al Assad, I think. Something I wrote like in my notes. I yeah. just wrote Al Assad. And that's really it for the first part. That's all there is. They don't give you much. Oh, there's a guy named Captain Price. Right, and he's a homie, by the way. When you're jumping to the helicopter he in the first mission, he grabs your arm. That's awesome. Yeah, this game looks, again, really good. Mm -hmm. Especially with the setting of the first mission on the ship with all the water uh, yeah. physics. And this game runs at 60 FPS, I believe, on the original as well. Um, I It might. I don't know. I've got a shitty yeah. monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I, I think it does. So the first mission, you're on the ship, it's night, it's rainy, it's moody, it's like really whispery, and you're just sneaking through and shooting dudes. And like, you don't do that much, but I think it, it, it is very good at conveying all of the cool and not cool things about Modern Warfare's like core gameplay. Mm -hmm. And that it's really fun to like shoot a couple dudes, but then... You start seeing some problems very quickly when you have to walk behind a lot of dudes. Right. So I was exploring pretty much every room on the ship. I got left behind so many times. I was abandoned yeah. by my teammates. I was trying to go ahead and it just wouldn't let me. I, I cannot relate. I was behind <laughs> someone the entire time. That was when I learned that you could not open doors. Oh my god. Ever. I don't think you ever open a door in this game. No, you just stand there and wait for them to be exploded open. <laughs> yeah. Like, even the ones that don't need to be. I hate it. Uh, that also reminds me, I don't know why I didn't expect this, but I did not expect auto-aim on controller. I just didn't go into it I thinking that was going to be there. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's how bad I was. Did you guys die during the escape section at all? I didn't die during the escape, but the first room... Where it's like you gotta crash behind the boxes and they're teaching to throw grenades and stuff. I died like three times. Um, I think I went mostly deathless until the escape section. And th there's one bridge jump that you have to do that I failed like three times. <laughs> it, it did not go well. I fell into the water and drowned. Uh, let's move on to the second mission. I think it's called Blackout. Or no, that's uh, there's a cutscene in between then. Yes, with like a, a little, little bit of a bit, bit of gameplay. Mm -hmm. So the president of whatever country we're in gets killed by Al-Assad. Also, uh, my capture card recording of that place made it look like Mexico, and you know what that means. <laughs> I don't have to explain. Yellow. <laughs> Very yellow. And then the night vision level. I think this mission is kind of weird. I don't know. Like, most of this is kind of... I'm not really entirely sure what you want me to be doing. I feel like I'm just walking behind guys as they just, like, 
deal with it. I think you can probably complete most of the missions in this game without shooting a single shot. I picked up different weapons on the ship mission, and even though I'm pretty sure you're still playing as soap in this one, aren't you? Y you lose your weapons, which we'll get back yeah. to because there's a there's sequential missions coming up where you keep your weapons in between levels. So what changed? <laughs> All right, the third mission was called Charlie Don't Surf. Mm -hmm. And now you're playing as a dude named Paul Jackson, and I think he's in, like, Iraq, but... Alright, so the mission opens with a helicopter fleet flying over, I assume, the ocean, or some sort of very large body of water, and it's really cool. Moving on... <laughs> I don't know how the military... Like, I don't know any actual military stuff. I don't know that much about explosives. They stand really close to those explosives when they blow open doors. They do. Like, okay, also... <laughs> I think it's really funny in this game. It feels like grenades will always kill you or do nothing. No in between. If, if they are on your screen at all, they will kill you. <laughs> like yeah. the, the indicator. I stood as far back from one as possible, but it was still just barely on my screen dead. Quite possibly my biggest critique with this entire game. I can't tell who to shoot and who not to. And this level is when I realized it was a big problem. Mm -hmm. My biggest issue with this level is the callouts are not helpful. Every single nope. second, one of your teammates is like, I, I wrote it down exactly, enemy personnel near the insert object here. One of them is near that broken wall. We are in a destroyed <laughs> city. Everything is a broken wall. <laughs> What was with that? Uh, did anything important story-wise happen here? I didn't. I made like little to no story notes. So I think they like were going to like a TV station to get this guy because there was like recordings coming out of it, but it was like on tape, which seems like a really dumb mistake to make. Mm -hmm. uh, so they tell you to turn off the TV, right? You can shoot the TVs out. If you shoot it out, do they still tell you to turn it off? <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. The bog. Yeah, I I have nothing about this level except I said I killed more guys. In it. Did you not like this level? I, I I actually wrote that it was fun, but I don't remember what it was. I've got big notes here. All right, so oh the my. first one, Lieutenant Vasquez has such a cool voice. <laughs> I realized I that I I noticed it in like the second mission. One of the characters. He just has an amazing voice. Command, this is Red Dog. TV station secure. No sign of Al-Assad. The broadcast is a recording. Over. Very deep, very rough, very cool. Uh, and then a major thing I have. This is more just a personal preference thing on my part. I prefer uh, heavy stylistic art styles to realistic games. And something happened in this mission that made me realize that even more. Because a helicopter blew up a building, you probably remember that part, and a body fell from above and ragdolled and started clipping into the side of a dumpster, and that took me all the way out of the immersion. I like that kind of stuff. <laughs> I think it's funny, but it's bad for, like, simulation war game, yeah. in my opinion. <laughs> this game, like, really wants to be realistic. Mm-hmm. I think if it didn't take itself as seriously, I wouldn't have bothered about bringing it up at right. all. Le level five, the hunting. Yeah. The, you're going back to so We're in the forest. Mm -hmm. So uh, I believe the mission starts with a missile hitting the helicopter. Uh, yes. And my immediate first thought is, I know Soap is like a tough army guy. If a missile hits a helicopter I'm in, I am dead. Even if I survive the fall, I am dead. <laughs> I'm just giving up. You start with pistol only, which was cool, but then you instantly get new weapons. So it, it, it's kind of a nothing statement. Yeah. Uh, uh, back to the topic of friendly fire. I shot Nikolai with a rifle like 30 times. Oh yeah. His, his ass does not have like sergeant in front of his name. He got shot so many times. <laughs> uh, I was exploring and found enemy intelligence one of 30. I didn't even know this game had collectibles. That is the only one I ever found. Yes! This is my favorite thing in these kinds of games. I was in a shootout, looked up, and saw a staircase that no one told me to go to with a balcony with like a very cool vantage point. Went up there. And I, I forged my own path. I strategized in my own brain. Love that. Whoa. Made me feel so I love smart. That. I think I, I, there's another one. I might be thinking of the same one where it's like, I know it's one of the Paul Jackson levels where it's like, 
in the Iran question. I'm probably so wrong. It's so <laughs> offensive to not know. But, like, I don't know. It's a little bit of that kind of stuff in this game. Uh, this is a big one. Cod has done more for military recruitment than any military recruiter ever could. <laughs> Legit. All right. I want you to speak positively about death from above before I speak negatively about it. This is my favorite part yeah, of the game. game. <laughs> like, it's so good, bro. It's like, they tell you what to do, and they say, go shoot that guy. And you're in like a, it's like a black and white-ish vision. I don't know. It's like grainy. Mm-hmm. And you shoot little guns, and you drop bombs, and you see little dots go flying, because it's like dead guys. Right. And it's cool. Um, and it's really different. It's like unique. Like, I haven't seen this gameplay anywhere else. Oh, it is unique. You you are right. <laughs> First note Wait, I hold have. On. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hunter, do you have a positive opinion? Oh, true, yeah. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Hunter, do you want to start with your negatives before I go on mine for this mission? Uh, my negatives? It was just boring. It was, just wasn't fun. I mean, there's not it was, not much was happening. You were just waiting to fly around. It took forever to reload. Don't shake there your head, Wes. Die. He's spitting. <laughs> you could die and you could lose. It was boring. Yep. My immediate first note is this mission kind of sucked. Um, in the junkyard area, one of the callouts that the like pilot makes is there's an enemy near that car. It's a junkyard. Okay. There's so many cars. Listen, listen. The tips are not helpful. On top, We've established this. On top of all of that, the narr- narrator guy, the pilot, struggles so much to keep up with what you're doing. He's constantly like, got him, watch out, there's friendlies, got him, hey, I heard that, got him. <laughs> there's one running away. And then uh, at the end, I wanted to shoot the friendly helicopters, but I did not want to subject myself to that <laughs> mission again if it went to I a failure. I can't believe I'm having to defend Death from Above as the most cool mission in this game. I thought it would be a runaway hit. The only note the only no I wrote my, my my notes are as capital awesome helicopter mission. Damn, are you sure you're not? Well, you yeah, you mentioned the black and white part. I was... <laughs> We'll get back to my thoughts on a future mission. This uh, goes hard. I think it's... Let's let's move on to War Pig. Uh, intermission. Which delivery Starburst of these three is your guys' favorite? Because I'm gonna be eating them. I have strawberry. I, I don't. I think this is bullshit. I think this is pomegranate. I think this is pomegranate. Mm-hmm. Shit. <laughs> it's the it's the dark red one. Okay. I don't know what it is. What are your guys' favorites? Um, Cherry. Cherry would be my favorite. My favorite is the Mine's... orange starburst, uh, but I don't know if that's an option. All answers are correct except for pink. All answers except for orange are correct, bro. Get the hell out of here. Orange and yellow are the two best. Warpig, I don't want to hear from you now. Yes. Warpig, okay, well, listen, you don't gotta be mean to me. Warpig banger <laughs> mission, I love this one. I got way more use out of the grenade launcher in this one, also. I agree, it's a good mission. It's kind of open-ended, even though it's also the most... It's it's a game that- so, uh, Xbox 360 version, got a lot of lag in fr- frame drops. Uh, like, dipped to 15 at points. It was yeah, bad. <laughs> Maybe this isn't a 60 game. Maybe I was lying. No, it was 60. I looked at it. The Wii version is 30. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> But it, it dropped a lot. Hunter, what are your opinions on this mission? It's the tank one. Honestly, can't remember it. Thanks. Not very memorable. All right. You played it most recently. I can't stress that enough. By like over a week. I know. I was waiting to see if Hunter would respond. Okay, next mission. Shock yeah, and awe. Know. Shock and awe. This mission, the opening is just a better version of Death From Above. I wrote, yeah, that, right. I wrote that top of my notes. Opening is just better Death From Above. I, I did say the helicopter mission uh, before is the best one because I forgot about this one. This mission fucking rips. Mm-hmm. I have so few notes on this scene. This is probably my favorite mission out of all of them. The entire time. Shock and Awe is a perfect title. The entire time I was just... I wrote a lot. All right, you go through your notes. All right, then I'll let Hunter say the two things he remembers from this mission. Um, 
I, the start of the helicopter is awesome. And at first I thought like, oh, you're on a helicopter, they're going to drop you down, and then I'm just going to shoot guys. But then they start letting you shoot stuff in the helicopter. Mm-hmm. That's and what I shoot thought. Guys. I was so and concerned. Then, <laughs> after like a minute of that, it starts lowering. And it's like, oh man, they're going to make me walk and play an actual level of Call of Duty Modern Warfare now. Oh. But then, you go down there, and you kill like five guys super quick, and then you run back on, and then you shoot more guys. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. And then, a friggin' helicopter gets shot down. They made the stupid choice to go and be brave. Oh, we're gonna save them. We don't care. And they do. Like they do save the pilot. No, they, 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 they don't. They don't. Well, they <laughs> kind of save her. <laughs> they do not save her. Temporarily. And then this is the best part of the game, right? Like, this is the coolest moment yes. of the whole story. Yes. We're the talking about the nuke dies. scene, by the way. The secondary protagonist dies. That's why. It's a shame I didn't write down or remember his name. <laughs> Paul Jackson, bro. Paul, Paul Jackson. G- Paul Giamatti. He was a hero. He was that. Mm-hmm. I wasn't a fan of going back and saving them and then getting nukes. They literally warned them. You're gonna die to a nuclear blast if you go back and save that lady. And they're like, "We can do it." Would you have preferred? They could. Would you have preferred if they did like the? I think the more modern Call of Duty games do this, where it's like a branching path where you get the option to go back and save her. Uh, yes, I would have preferred to have the option for her to die. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so I didn't even want to. It Probably wasn't even a matter of just surviving. You, just, you didn't want to survive. You just wanted her dead. What if you went back to save her and if you played really well, then you survived? Would you have tried it then? Uh, I wouldn't have wanted to risk it. My god. This game, this part of the game was so good. Because it was the only part of the game that was like a little bit. It made me feel something. Like it had a little bit. You, you talked about that military recruiter thing. This is the only moment of the game where I was like, damn. Veterans, bro. Damn, they die. They're cool. They did shit. Yeah. And they and they get killed. Alright, safe house. Uh this one is pretty cool. I'm getting this is the point where I was getting more and more immersed, but I do think it does fall off after I'm doing quote air quotes, fall off after the last mission, but that's just because it tones down. You can't really keep that sure. pace the entire time. Yeah, it's the peak of the story. Clearly. Yeah, so this is when I'm, like, getting more immersed. It's on, like, the down, and it's going to go back up eventually. Sure. This is, this is when I start getting into stories. Oh, and then you kill all of Sod in this mission, and it turns out that Imran Zekav... Oh, I don't know. Good he is, uh, Thank you. He was the real guy. He's, like, taboo in the subspace emissary. Um, do you have any opinion on this mission? It is not a memorable. Can't remember it. Didn't think so. I really don't either. <laughs> okay, all gillied up. Um, the sniper seems quieter than it should physically be able to be. I don't know how silencers work. It's a very quiet sniper. I, I did not notice the sniper thing, but, like, this is a good mission. Yeah. This is a really good mission. I've got, I've got some think- thoughts on it. Okay, before you say anything else, I'm like, I'm gonna fact check this. I'm like 90% sure they got like a big award for this mission. Like, it, it got, it won something. I, I've got mostly positive things to say about it. I just have one little tiny issue. That mission had options to be sneaky every single time I chose to shoot the people. Bro. I, I never got caught. I got a trophy for it. <laughs> I I was very brazen. I kept trying to do stupid shit. I stealthed pretty much the entire thing, but that was after like ten deaths of trying to shoot down the helicopter. <laughs> so you I can looked only it up. shoot down helicopters when it like says you can, basically. Yeah, yeah pretty much. That's which is just tragic. H- huge positive for the game. This mission is the only time I used my compass for callouts. Whenever um, McMillan was like, hey, there's a guy to the east, I'm like, east! <laughs> I know yeah, that one! Yeah. I had that same thing. Also, we should mention, I'll go it up in the story. I don't even know if you realize this. You did, but it's a flashback, right? Yeah. It's like what? 15 years old. <laughs> I thought it took place the next day! <laughs> I, hey, I don't know. I think Hunter said he didn't notice, right? Not at first. I, I noticed when I shot the guy's arm off. 
Mm. It, that, that, I noticed uh, at the beginning of the mission when Captain Price they said... They told us. Yeah, when he was like, hey, this reminds me of a story. Here's, how, here's who this guy is, and then it does the flashback. <laughs> So I just checked. This this didn't like win an award, but like it has a retrospective section on Wikipedia that says it's really really good. So that's awesome. <laughs> like oh, well, the part where you go under the car. Yes, that was awesome. I liked that. Another great part so is the, uh, the field section where like the entire wave of guys is like parol uh, patrolling the field. I really like how um, this game has like or sorry this mission has like a lot of little player choice where like you can. He'll, he'll say, like, I'll let you take that guy out if you want. Or you can just, like, nah. I don't know. I guess that was super cool, because that's something that doesn't really happen much in this game at all. I don't um, like it that much, honestly. Not the mission, that that um, just that idea of freedom. Because sure. it, it's sure. not as free as I would like. It's kind of just do this if you want or don't, and it won't have any impact on anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. How did you guys do it? I, I think we might have all had different experiences. this. So... I tried to do it legit one time, I promise. <laughs> and I, I waited like a long time to shoot him for the perfect moment. And then I shot him and I missed. And I was like, well, fuck that. So I kept restarting and just shooting and eventually it worked. <laughs> <laughs> From start to finish, I would st the moment he's in sight, take the shot, miss, restart, take the shot. Eventually I yes. got him. <laughs> Wait, you did the same thing? Yeah, I just didn't start by going slow. <laughs> Let's go. Um... I ended up shooting him with the wind direction, like, I shot, like, uh, like a foot or two to the left of him, and it... I heard. I heard. I, I mean, I shot him with the wind, too. I just... You kinda gotta... Is there a point when I there's didn't. not wind? Is there a point when there's not wind? Uh, yeah, but he's never, like, visible, I guess. <laughs> I legit just spammed it. <laughs> you just have to understand the physics of the Coriolis effect. Dude, I don't even know what that is. Hunter, did you wait? Like, did you wait until further into the mission to shoot him? Or did you do it well, very quickly? <laughs> I did it very quickly because I knew what the wind was going to be at the start. Mmm, okay. Oh, wait, um, guys, this mission actually has more stuff to it, I think? Yes, I was about to get to that. And it is really weird. <laughs> so that was kind of my one negative with this area. Um, I hate missions where... So you have to carry around McMillan at a point because he gets injured. Yeah. It's, yes. it's not that big a deal, and I kind of like the idea of being able to place a human sentry down, but also why is the animation to pick him up and set him down so long? <laughs> Dude, like... And the thing is, how most of the environments they have you placing him in is just like he ends up in like his own little room of a hallway. And he I, doesn't... I placed him directly in the line of fire. <laughs> There was oh, I, I thought was we were trying to buy enemies. <laughs> I was trying to save his life, but I mean, he's probably invincible. So I, I think he's invincible. I was just using him as a turret. <laughs> the ending to this mission is really cool in concept. I just thought it went on the level too far. Now the farm defense level again. My poor Xbox yeah. 360. The airstrikes <laughs> are damn near killed. <laughs> Uh, and it's a bit too automated. Every time you do something, it's like, now go to this. It's basically just a tower defense game. <laughs> yep, it is. I, until you have to walk back to the other side. Uh, that part I liked because th I just left my entire team behind. I just sprinted. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't you like, run to like, a gas station or something? It takes like two seconds. Mm -hmm. and this mission is like, really short. I think a lot of the missions in the second half of the game get shorter. I think I took a lot of time with it. What mission is this? 11? Uh... I, this is a, oh, it's only 16 minutes, never mind. I don't really have much else to say. When you eventually have to go back to the other side, there's one part where there's just like 20 enemies on the other side of the field, and I was getting fucking spawn camped. <laughs> I could not yeah, get past Yeah, for real. Like, like, this game has a, okay, this is like a bigger criticism of this game. There are too many respawn enemies in this game. Too often, will you just get into a room and you're like, okay, kill the guys, and you kill the guys, and then just like more shot, and you kill them, and then more guys shot. Mm -hmm. Like I think in like mission two, where you like enter that office building, or I guess the TV station, that room spawns dudes for like five minutes. Intense and slow. Can we time like, out for a second? I I'm sorry to interrupt yeah. you. D uh, yeah. Did we even talk about sins of the father? The mission where you have to chase uh, down that guy's son. 
I think I don't think we did, but like I don't care. <laughs> There's nothing there. I didn't stealth any of it. I think you could have. I didn't. I just sprinted through it. Was it was cool. It was really cool that they um, swapped all their outfits when they're at the gas station or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. But that's it. It was annoying that yeah. uh, you had to try and catch the guy and then he just died. <laughs> yeah, bro. Hunter, what's that? That's like why I feel like like why we play that level when he just gets nuked and died. We could have not saved that lady. It, with their crash helicopter. Yeah. Who's the one who crashed their damn helicopter? Was it me? We could, away, we could have won the mission, but instead yeah. we died and lost. The, the fail state, all of the fail states in the game remind me a lot of like Grand Theft Auto missions, where it's like, this should work, but it's not, because Rockstar said no. <laughs> Ultimatum. It's snowy, which is cool. Is it? Because it's <laughs> snowy for all of five seconds, and then the snow stops. <laughs> okay, yeah, true. I don't remember anything. All I wrote in my notes is that there's a cool missile launch. Uh, I, in my notes, I wrote that the, um, the town section feels very broken. Because it's, the way it's laid out, I'll, I'll do it on my face cam for the viewers, is it's like, you go that way, and then you loop back around, and then you loop back around again. And it feels like you should be able to go in a straight line from part to part, but you have to do the zigzag. You can't just go forward. <laughs> I, I didn't like this mission, but the missile is cool. Uh, did mm. you guys see how many ca- estimated casualties there would be? <laughs> yeah, uh, wow. 41 million. <laughs> that is a <laughs> lot of dead people. <laughs> for, for, for what? For if the missiles hit. Eh. <laughs> Let it happen. <laughs> Not worth my time. That's a tenth of a Mystery Beast video. <laughs> All in. Okay, this is the one that lets you keep your guns from Ultimatum. <laughs> I, why couldn't you do that the entire time? I was so desensitized by having to go back to my rifle-pistol combo that when I saw that I had my shotgun, I was so happy. <laughs> I was Man. irrationally happy. This mission is uh, kind of cool, but it's like really short. All these missions at the end of the game are so short. I don't know what happened. Like uh, the the armored cars were really annoying to deal with, in my opinion. Also, I found like a little hidden alleyway with a really good gun in it. It, it also had a secret collectible item back there. That was cool. I, I, I didn't expect. I, I did that. not have this experience again. I didn't even notice what guns were mandatory half the time. I never <laughs> got a collectible other than the one we mentioned in that, that one level that all three of us grabbed. So when you get to the um, the missile facility, is there two paths in there, or do they lead to the same place? I think they lead to the same place like immediately. There are two paths. Because I I went to like the cafeteria area. I think it's the right way. I started by going left, but I eventually wound up at a cafeteria. I have no idea. I it was Call of Duty. I was shooting dudes. <laughs> at one point, there was a timer. I think in this level, right? And it gives you like three times as much time as you need. Yeah, I didn't see the capture. All right. (laughs) I was kind of tapped out at this point. It's the second to last level. It's like the last real level. Mm -hmm. Um, Guys who are on the ground, like not quite dead, but they're just on the ground and still shooting at you. I hate them. (laughs) Fuck them with a passion. I thought it was fun. You get a trophy if you stab one of them. Oh. And that is kind of cool. I was in a perfect area. I was in the missile launch area where more missiles were about to launch, and there was just a guy behind one of the missiles who sniped me right when I was about to finish that area. I was livid. Skill issue. I heard that sound of my life. <laughs> Alright, and then once you get to the vehicle depot, um... I didn't use any strategies. I this is when I tapped out. I used yield spray and pray when I got here. I could not be bothered to actually like use cover and shit. And it usually works in this game. Mm-hmm. Was your team even helpful in this mission? I soloed it. I mean, they're there. They're trying their best. I think I just sprinted past them this entire time. I hitting my desk made my webcam fucked up. <laughs> Great. That's to the charm. It's indie. Uh, I legit. I would criticize my team if it weren't for the fact that I know I shot them with literally every single shot. So. Well, that's their problem. They got in your way. 
I mean, legitimately. Like, I, okay, the, my biggest problem with them getting in my way was, like, walking into them. Like, that is what I hated the mm-hmm. most. They just block your path, like, yeah. Dude, yeah, okay, I died part- because they blocked my damn path. There's a part in the ship mission where you're on the railway, and if you're between them, they will literally push you like a conveyor belt. <laughs> it is that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. It is awesome, but it also is annoying as all hell. All right, and then you stop the missiles. Woo! Forty-one million people didn't die, and then you're on a car and your weapons reset again. And I'm going to kill this game. <laughs> it's actually a truck. You're on a truck, not a car. I've been told Japan is getting so old, so it's like, why couldn't we just nuke Japan and restart? So the truck crashes, and it's like, you totally think Seth is dead. I, I did. I'm cold. I did. <laughs> okay. Hunter, did you think Seth was dead? I saw his legs moving, and I thought, my boy is just lazy. Thank you for that. Um, it might be a good a time lie. to mention. I know the story of the next two Modern Warfare games. And weirdly enough, I, I know. Uh, weirdly enough, I didn't know the story of this one, but I know the next two. The only thing I know about the next two is no the hell, because everybody knows No Mission, mm-hmm. except for Hunter. Everyone Hunter knows No What? Yeah, exactly. Don't worry about it. We'll get to it. There's not much more story. Stoke kills the big guy who's just there. Like he just shows up. He's like, "Hey guys, want to kill me?" Hmm. He started monologuing. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, Price, you think, Price, I keep saying you think, I think I'm like the only guy who thought Price was going to die. I said that. Just quickly, the ending felt super incomplete to me. I guess that's why there's yeah. sequels, but I was like, that's how it ends? Really? Yeah. <laughs> After the nuke, it's literally, a, a, it is quite literally an Indiana Jones nuke the fridge situation where they do their most insane thing, like a third of the way in. Um, I just, I have a couple words I want to share with everybody. Okay, alright. Hot off the heels of Call of Duty 2, the Infinity Ward team has been developing Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. We're making a more sophisticated, deep Call of Duty experience. Variety is the next big thing for us, and we're going to go in deep, and we're going in hard. The weak man may be careful not to soil himself when he plays this game. Parentheses. Gunshot, parentheses. Verse 1. Enter my mind, in time you will find my lines. Combine, intertwine, underlined, rhyme, divine. No hind can go against me, 249, lift you swiftly. Frontline's in here with me. Think I'm lying? Come and get me. Ah. Sergeant Griggs reporting for duty. Roger. Some say this belongs in a movie. I'm going to just stop myself here. But my favorite part of the song is when they just say, but this third installment, Infinity Ward shit. (laughs) Cinema. What is this? You don't know what this is? This is the credits theme, the rap. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah, you probably just thought I was going insane. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, no. I, 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 uh... I, I muted the credits, admittedly. <laughs> what? Dude, you don't want to hear the line, don't soil your drawers because it's deep and hard, bitch. <laughs> Not is necessary. That's line in this game. Did, you soil, did, did you soil your drawers when you played this game? I personally, I did not. But, I mean, according to the developers, I should have, so I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> I, I loved it so much. I was, like, laughing so hard through the whole thing. It was amazing. When they when they called the game, when in the credits of their game, they called it Infinity War and shit. I mean, that, that is some confidence that we just don't see any. Should we talk about the epilogue? You play it. Uh, yeah, so my exact notes, I'll read it one for one because I still stand by this. Right. I have no clue what that epilogue was supposed to mean. I think someone on the team just wanted to do a plane mission, but didn't know where to put exactly. it. <laughs> exactly. Literally, I have no idea what it means. I, it is awesome. I like the part where they decided to You were saving the VIP. What? Who is the... Why? What? Where? When? Uh, uh, yeah, Hunter. Uh, who, who? Sorry, who's the VIP? Would you care to, you care to tell me who the VIP is, Hunter? He's the most important person in the world, of course. 
Oh, okay. So. All right, cool. I was worried you didn't know. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. All right, do we want to move into overall thoughts and like ratings and reviews? Yeah. Is there any other random stuff that we forgot to talk about? I don't think there is. This is a pretty straightforward game. Yeah. <laughs> Knife the watermelon. Didn't get that. Knife the watermelon. My hat disappeared. There's gonna be a transition where my hat disappears. I want you to play the. I want you to like pause and then have to fade into me having no hat and play like the Mario sixty four teleport sound. <laughs> Can you do that? Yes, but that's not how I'm gonna transition from those scenes. <laughs> Okay, cool. I'll do Don't it at the it, yeah. point. I'll do it after you requested me to do it. That's a saying in the video. <laughs> okay, I guess this is a good overall thought. I didn't like the gunplay that much. I might be too spoiled by like Doom and Ultra Kill, but yeah. it wasn't no, you that are. fun. <laughs> Hunter, do you have any thoughts on the gunplay? <laughs> um, I prefer Fortnite. I mean, low key, I do too. But like, you're not allowed to say that. <laughs> do you guys all have a score in your head of what you would give this out of ten? I think so, but it's like weird. Like, don't say it yet. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's go in order. I, yeah. And give our thoughts. Okay. And then we'll say our scores. We can do that. I think I would give this game. A uh, 6 out of 10, which isn't that bad. It's above mediocre. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think it. I can see a lot of the future games doing it a lot better. And I think out of the Call of Duty games I've played, it's not one of the better ones. I think it peaks too early. It, it blows its load instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Adam. <laughs> I mean, he ain't he spin. Um, I would prefer if it... Mm, it needed to either lean harder into the taking itself seriously part or not take itself as seriously. It was in a weird middle ground where it felt almost weird to play. You couldn't quite get immersed, but there were sections where you would. It, it was very inconsistent, but I had a good time playing it. That is a very good criticism because... It feels halfway to action movie, but it doesn't ever get there. <laughs> like like jumping from the ship to the helicopter, yeah, looking, yeah. looking behind you at the nuke exploding. Like those are just action movie set pieces. Right. And then it also has like all gillied up, which is a great stealth mission. If that was a forty minute scene in an action movie, I would want to blow my brains out. <laughs> For real. For me personally, I think this game I'm sitting like a 6.5 to a 7. I think I felt a little bit more positively about it. Um, because on the whole, I think like most of the game is like 5 out of 10. Like I, I think just like a lot of these shooting missions where you just, you walk to this place with all your guys, and then you go into a room, and there's all these respawning dudes, and you shoot them, and you shoot them again, and then you walk through. It, there's nothing special about it. And they, the levels aren't, the levels are really pretty, but a lot of times not visually distinct. Like the farthest it goes with that, is having two protagonists where they're like in different locales, but then they abandon that idea for a good reason, but they do. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's just not that special. But I was really impressed by like a select few moments. I thought that this game actually, I, I didn't expect the game to have anything special about it, to be honest. <laughs> but it has a couple missions where like I was like, oh, damn, I actually haven't seen it before. I think All Gillied Up was like amazing because it, it, obviously stealth has been done a million times. But it, it was cinematic in like a really cool way. It was like good cinematic stealth, and it was really intense and slow. The nuclear bomb where they killed the protagonist, I genuinely thought was really cool and smart and original. Like, how many games do you have dual protagonists where one of them just dies halfway through, you know? And it's like taken very seriously. Mm -hmm. Like, it feels like a big deal. Like, it feels like this dude is gonna, like, do something big in the story, and everything he does amounts to nothing because he just gets mute. You have so, that part where you have oh. to limp away, and, like, you're kind of alive? Yeah. That was great. It was, like, raw. That was raw. Like, that was good. I just wish the whole game was like that, where it was, like, a little more realistic. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, hardcore, intense, a little bit emotional, but not, like, you know, nobody cries at Call of Duty, but it's I, so cool. I man. think we're on the same page of it was just a little too inconsistent. All right, Hunter, what are your thoughts? 
So yeah, I'd give it about a 7.5 out of 10. Like, I'd say this game's more fun than Super Mario Galaxy, but not quite as fun. <laughs> you, as you're the only Mario person to ever say that. Or, But not quite as fun as Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels. Mmm. Don't you spin. Actually, hold on. Uh, yeah, you say I, Hunter is the only person to ever say that. 2007 DICE Awards Game of the Year is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, not Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, shit. I, I'm telling you. I mean, it's just decently fun throughout. I mean, it gets frustrated in some parts. Some missions aren't fun. Most of them are pretty decent. I mean, I like the ones where you just shot people. That's what I was here to do. Yeah, I mean, can't argue with that. I mean, I think you guys have been a little bit too harsh on it. Like, it's not as good as Doom. Of course it's not. Yeah, that's why it's, I rated it up yeah. slightly above mediocre. <laughs> I mean, like, I've played more first-person shooters than Hunter, if you don't mind me saying. And, like... I do mind you saying you're doxing me. Okay, well, I'm just gonna say, like, most FPS games I've played have something really special about them. Like, Half-Life really introduced this kind of cinematic in-game storytelling. Half-Life 2 did it 80 times better. And it was very physics oriented. I had these puzzles and really unique locales. And like Doom has that fast arena gameplay. Doom Eternal has it, but if it was good. Um, and this game has three missions where it has that, and then the rest of the game is completely bog standard. So I struggle to give it more than like a seven. That is the only. It's really my biggest criticism with this game is that I just wish it was like not Call of Duty. I think Call of Duty is used as too derogatory of a term in the gaming space. Absolutely, I, because this game has originality to it. Call of Duty it games does. can be really good. When did Cold War come out? I feel like Cold War was received really positively. Um, yeah, I and I, I we should play that. What's that? I think it was like 2020. I, I think that's correct, because yeah. I think it was the first cross-platform cloud. It's 2020, and like I, that one was received really well, and I think the story in that one yeah. was really good. I don't know anything about the story. I've yeah. just heard it's really used to Call of Duty can be good. It just um, hasn't been. That's our Modern Warfare episode. What should we do next? I don't know, but let me pull up our list. Okay, let's... How about this? Let's all three pick one. We'll put it on a wheel. I'll put I, it on a wheel and we'll spin and decide which one we do. Oh, that's dangerous. That's that is dangerous. dangerous. That is dangerous. I like it. I like it. Now we have to at least get some I, base no, 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 no. I will not. I will not submit to your will. Why not? Okay, guys. Okay, guys. We need to come to a consensus. I think we should agree to do you people want to God this week or this month as our weekly. I think it's a good um, compromise. And I so, think if we do that, we should at least roll for a monthly game and have Sticker Star as a potential option. Hunter, how do you think? No, 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 I listen. agree. Because uh, this Corona I, game, I, I, no offense to you guys, guys, sounds fucking stupid, so... <laughs> it is, yeah. I'm really compromising um, on this. Are, so, so, Hunter, listen, this is a good deal for you. We guarantee you get Corona, and there's only a 30% chance. Unnecessarily... Well, what games are on the wheel? Sticker Star, Samus Returns, and Shadow the Hedgehog. God damn, that's a... You know what? I'll I'll roll my chances. But if it rolls on sticker star, uh, if it rolls on sticker star, you have to do it. <laughs> All right, spinning. This the is wheel. insane. Spinning the wheel. Oh God. Samus returns. Yay! It's not sticker Thank star. Thank God. <laughs> Oh, that's actually a good way of doing it because then we kind of just have like a. We should do a pick each. That's what we should have done. We should have done a pick each. Put them on the wheel. I uh, put them on the wheel, yeah. and then this and is then, a great system. Like I love you this. go in through, go through all of them until the wheel is empty, and then and then you pick another three. Mm -hmm. It's a great system. I love this. It's a fantastic idea. All right, we'll do that next time. We'll do that next time. Perfect. All right. Well, this was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, great, great episode for this. Uh, great episode for Modern Warfare. Next time, next episode will technically be uh, this stupid Corona game that I'm having yeah. to play. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure out the format for that. Enjoy, Adam. Oh boy! Oh gee! Oh, oh golly, man! I'm excited. <laughs> Can you tell? Uh -huh. And then next month we will be playing Samus Returns, which I have not touched. I played a little bit of the NES one. All right, anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it's for all 20 people who watch this video, it's, it, it's been a 20? pleasure. You think, we're getting, you think we're getting 20 views on this? You're out of your mind. It's been a pleasure uh, entertaining you all. 
And um, see you guys in the next episode. We need an outro of some kind, like an outro video that can play. Put the Mr. Beast outro. Mr. Beast six thousand oh oh. Mr. Beast six thousand oh oh. Mr. Beast six thousand. Yeah, you know his name. He changed it once or twice, but I think it's here to stay.